high above the clouds sits a marvel of ingenuity and craftsmanship. It was 1899 when hard luck prospector Duncan Woods arrived in Headley, British Columbia after much of the Nickel Plate Mountain had been claimed. Referring to maps of the area, Duncan noticed a sliver of land on the edge of the mountain had been missed. He claimed the land and named it the mascot. Sitting dormant for the next few years, in 1904, Superintendent Gomer P. Jones from the Daily Reduction Company, which owned the surrounding claims, approached Duncan, asking to purchase his claim. No one knows what was said between the two men, but Woods was so angry with Jones that he refused to sell as long as Jones was involved. Unfortunately, Duncan was unable to secure development funds. His only activity was paying the fee each year to maintain title. Years passed, but in 1933, Wood sold his property for $150,000 to a group from Vancouver, and they formed the Headley Mascot Gold. The mine operated from 1936 to 1949, a short but profitable life. In all, 7.1 tons of gold was extracted, worth over $130 million today. During peak operation, over 130 men worked at the mine. Many of the single men lived at the mine site, while the men with families would ride the empty tram buckets to and from the town of Headley below. A small community was built right on the side of the cliff, complete with a cookhouse, bunkhouse, blacksmith shop, mine offices, and mine operation buildings. There was a lot of things to do in the town of Headley below. Miners and their families enjoyed swimming in the rivers and creeks, fishing, hunting, and hiking. There were even baseball and hockey teams, tennis courts, and even a golf course. Now, in 2021, a provincial grant of $80,000 to the ban will enable a 2023 reopening of the site to tourists and mine enthusiasts alike. So come along with us as we go deep into the mountain and explore the mascot gold mine. And this is where we stopped last time. Uh, it was pretty cold and it was early spring and there was quite a bit of water. So we didn't want to get cold and because it's quite the hike. So let's get through this uh, wind door and explore a little bit further in this mine. Oh. Yeah, me hitting the door. <laughs> it's quite the vibration there. You see the animal prints on the ground? In the next muddy section, look down. So somebody had a dog or maybe a critter came in. Right there. Did you see it? You'll see it. You can, if you can, right there's one and not a very clear one. But, uh, well, good thing we got extra boots. I'll turn on the high beam here. Oh, it's not too bad. So you might be able to kind of bounce around on the wood there. It's quite the hike to get in here. Probably uh, three, four kilometers from where you can park. So you can only pack so much, but we did bring extra boots. 
Usually people will make little bridges like this, which is good. We're actually stepping on some of the ties, the old ties. You can see the spikes. There's water line underneath. Okay, good. Uh, there's water line underneath the water here. Oh yeah, you sank probably pretty deep there. It's that really brown rock again. Just got a little stoped out section here. Nothing too major. Very echoey. Continue on. Fairly large at it, uh, maybe about seven feet tall, uh, maybe ten feet wide. Quite a bit of tie is still left. Just passing another little stoped out section, kind of looked the same as the last one there. So I won't bore you guys with showing the same thing. It's a little uh, smoother or uh, drier over here, Shine, because it's the gravel. Oh, we got a little collapse here, but uh, you can see that other people have been in here and packed it all down again. Maybe it's backfill. Back yeah, because yeah, this oh, the back didn't change. I think we're coming up to a junction here. Oh, look, look. oh cool. Let's, let's turn around. Pretty decent chunk of dynamite box. Oh, nice and dry. Okay. Continuing on. This is either just a little, oh, you can see uh, the power lines. I think we're probably going to get wet in general. Oh geez, this is deep. Well, maybe not too bad. So just use the wall to hold. I'm going to turn off this guy. Sometimes we need to shut it off too. I don't know. So we can turn it back on. Okay, so far this is pretty... Or at least until we get to something interesting. Yep. Okay, so people have been walking on this ladder, so you might get a little bit wet feet. We're floating, so just hang on, let me get across here. Yeah, they made it kind of like it's back and forth. Just use the, uh, just brace the little. All right, I'm wet now. That didn't take long. Sorry guys for the lighting. And it's surprisingly pretty cold for being so shallow. Oh, while we're here, 
Got a uh, some bracing above us. You're probably gonna get wet feet, Shane. Yeah. It's not too bad. And again, we'll switch out of our boots. Just our yeah, just we'll spend more time trying. Oh. Let's turn around here. Just. We're fine, we got lots of lots of footwear. Turning back around. Oh, it's really wet, so yeah, that was would have been just a waste of time. So let's just continue on. Stick to the side because this is gonna get deep. There's another wind door up ahead. Just be careful, okay? You don't fall. Just be careful, okay? Just maybe wait till I get over here. All right, guys, I'm just gonna turn off the camera and get through this water, and then we'll touch base with you guys when we get to the other side. All right, well, we're still in the water, but we're at our, our first intersection of the area where we haven't gone. So we'll stick to the right-hand rule and continue going on. It's kind of funny because it says circle there arrow pointing out and then circle so I'm not so sure what that is meaning but uh, let's continue on and uh, see what's uh, in this branch all right what's that tin say is that some writing or like that barrel there some chunks of ladder and timbers and Bracing up there. Gimbal's going a little wonky because I got it plugged in. Oh, found a pothole. Just a storage box here. Some ladders and This adit's getting a little bigger. It's now probably about 10 feet high and probably give or well, probably almost about 15 feet wide. Coming up to maybe another wind door here, or what once was a wind door. Yeah, that's it laying on the ground there. You can see the handle. Well, I think we're coming up to a shoot. There's another little pocket here, some timbers. Look at all the, the where they were taking out sampling and doing some diamond drilling, or maybe they were gonna set dynamite in there. Not 100% sure. Oh, Cheyenne, are you in a, that looks pretty big. Oh, cool. Oh, we have some broken shovels down here. Some more ties. Oh, this is, oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is a door, eh? What's in here, I wonder? Doors are jammed. Oh, not this one. 
Oh, just a little area where they would store stuff. Some people, there's some writing on the wood here from 87. There's a little platform behind it. Not so sure what they would have had there. Oh, geez. We'll stick to, yeah, we'll stick to the right hand rule so we don't get lost in here. But uh, some cabling. Oh, look, wow, eh? No. So having a uh, through night flashlight makes it so you can see all the way up there. But there's a ladder probably going almost 150, 200 feet. And uh, kind of looks like where they would drop the ore down on the right hand side there. Sorry, guys. But uh, we're going to stick with the right hand rule. You can see some of the quartz in the side and a little bit of a vein there. But uh, let's get on back with Cheyenne. Tons of little dynamite box pieces down here and light's too bright. But uh, Alrighty, back at the junction. Ooh, that looks pretty sketchy there. Just adjust my flashlight, guys. So, uh, it's one of the ore chutes. Completely plugged. Gotta keep an eye on Cheyenne. She's already climbed up over that collapse. Oh, is this another chute? Okay. Oh, this is low. Backpack hitting. Oh, cool. So this is an ore pass. That's a pretty wide ore pass here. But we're not making it up here. And quite a bit of material down at the bottom there. So that gets pretty low there. It might go to the right, but that's pretty deep. Do you want to just go back to the other area? We'll go back to the other area. There's enough dry area to uh, explore around here. Okay. Look at the. Maybe that's why they wrote circle. Okay. Look at that big uh, drill steel right there poking out. Uh -huh. That's a big one. They're okay. usually not that big. Show you guys. There's my, there's my hand beside it. It's just a big bit on the end. But quite a few chunks of dynamite box and but uh, all right guys, we'll uh, just turn off the camera and touch base with you when we get back at the other junction. Now we're heading left. Another junction up there. Okay. So just to show you guys, it's left. But we're gonna continue straight. There's miles and miles of underground workings here. Um, sure, if you weren't paying attention, it'd be pretty easy to get lost. Another ore chute. Huge timbers, eh? That's massive. Like that's that's a huge tree. Another, uh, some more drill steel here. Climbing up. Oh, there's a, a spool. Can't really see up too much. But uh, that's pretty neat. OK. 
continuing this way. Oh yeah. Guys. So quite a bit of a uh, support, some bracing, a little bit of a stoped out section here. I'm just gonna unplug this mic here. Sorry guys. Or not unplug the mic, the battery pack. You keep finding all the good stuff. Little pocket right here. Nothing too much. But again, another huge uh, ore chute here. Some more dynamite box. Does that go down? Yep. Oh wow. It's not very big, but um, it is the first step. All right, that's pretty deep. Some bracing there at the side. So I don't know if there's another add it there to the right. I'm just gonna step over just to kind of get the full effect, but that does go down pretty deep. More dynamite boxes there, or chunks of them. Like look at some of this, the size of this drill steel is just massive. Like again, there's my hand. Just big bits. But uh, stope section with some bracing above. And then to the right. This is, does this go down or maybe it was a little, oh, it goes in a circle and going that way, you will end up this way here, but if you go this way, you will end up that way. It goes in a circle, 1902 to 1965. But uh, well, let's go right here. Looks there like lies D D B. It went in circles, circles. and it's still going strong. <laughs> but uh, let's go right, and uh, just remember here that we go left on the way back. Oh, another dynamite box there. Coming up to I think another wind door. I'm going to check the oxygen monitor. We're at 19.7. In clean air, clean air, it will read 20.9. So we're still in good shape. So this is, might be uh, maybe where they stored dynamite or because I think it just ends here, faces out. Someone wrote in 83. A chunk of dynamite box. Where did I see that underneath here? They use everything to build a little shelf there. They use some of the old dynamite do uh, box.
But I think this is just where they maybe stored dynamite, Cheyenne. Powder a powder, yeah. I just took a right. Um, I thought this was a stoped out section that uh, we could see on the other side. But that's where the uh, timbers, where we could see were, and the uh, supports there. Um, Cheyenne made that call. But this is a really big stoked out section. Shine, we'll grab a fairly decent sized rock and throw it down. Ready? Yep. We can hear it till basically it's either hitting the bottom or uh, just you can't hear it any, or it's just so deep we can't hear it. But, um, Quite a bit of, like you see my breath. But a uh, huge stoked out section here. So that would have been an ore dump. The tracks went right to the end and then they dumped the material. Yeah, thank you for saying that. So that was an ore dump, like Cheyenne said. The tracks ran. So we just came, okay, so we hadn't, I haven't filmed this yet. Um, so we just came from the right and then I got turned around because I thought that was the stoked out section, but this is another huge ore chute here, with the same type gate, probably about four feet wide. A uh, little bit of a stoked out section up top here. Oh. Huge. Oh, and there's another one here. So we got a double. One on the right, one on the left. Oh, a gate on it. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them have. Oh, we got a ladder here. Going to the next level. Ay, ay, ay. Does that feel pretty sturdy? No. I don't think I would climb that. The first section might be good, but where they connected it, I wouldn't say it was very good. Oh, and it keeps going up for so that's a platform. And then there's another ladder. See if I can show you guys that. Going up past it. All right. Some people have been here because there's some more beer cans. Which again is hilarious. Okay. Oh, that's kind of neat. No entry except employees on shift and personal and persons authorized this is like i frick oh, you know that's important we made one for this oh yeah it does okay oh and look at the uh that's cool put um your tools in this like little box here and they could haul it up it slide on here let me just take a look That's not too high, so maybe we'll take the backpack off and uh, climb some ladder. Ladder looks pretty good. Yeah, keep your feet to the kind of the outside of the rungs. Shine does it so gracefully. Alright you guys, just gonna tilt the camera up here. Really? Yeah. Well you can switch over to the other side there. That 
All right, let's go guys. Is it stop up there? Huh? Okay. All right, guys, just for safety, I'm going to turn off the camera and uh, we'll touch base with you guys when I get up there. Hold the rope. <clears throat> I ended up stepping on the rock. Yeah. And then you just climbed up? As soon as I could climb onto the other side, I did. All right, that spring is broken. Definitely a low section here. Yeah. My one flashlight's dead. What's that? This one's dead. Okay. So we just made it up uh, this manway here. It was quite the climb. Got a little narrow uh, at the top. Uh, a little bit of some false floors. But uh, we're gonna stick to the right. Unfortunately, our one Titan flashlight has already died. Um, so, that's something that's really important. There's no point in spending a lot of money on a flashlight if it's just gonna die really quickly. Um, so again, for how long through night flashlights last, uh, you're in pretty good hands. So, but, oh, this is a big room, eh? Wow. Another shoot, wow. Oh, hang on. You can see they did sampling along there at the top on that ridge. Hang on. All right, camera focus here. So we're in a really huge room. You can see the other level up there, eh? Yeah. Which is really neat. Right there. Emergency exit this way, eh? So, uh, so we're on the 4800. Or wait, hang on. So, to 4,800 rays, 1502. This says this is a dead end, so we won't go that way. But emergency exit um, to, well, straight ahead here. This is a huge, oh, this is a nice piece of dynamite box right there. Lots of pieces, which is really nice to see. It does continue straight there. Um, we've been walking underground here for quite a while. Oh, geez. Oh, that's an incline rail. Yeah. That's cool. This is all false floor. You can actually see water Really? Does it go down far? Um, you can see the water right okay. there. Okay, all right. Holy. That's a huge incline, and it will just keep going down. So that's not false floor there. No, I maybe go that way. Yeah. Longer. That is so cool. That would go to the other level that we were just looking up that I could show in the stoked out section. Huge room in here too. A couple overshoots. 
This is really flooded. And collapsed too. But, uh, wow. Okay, well, ay ay ay. This way is definitely pretty. There's so much here to explore. It's not even funny. Uh, it says exit this way. Do you want to go this way? Just to see like where it's coming out? We would know just to go straight. But it would just be nice to know that where we're coming out. Another big ore chute over here. Uh, this would have been, this is, there would have been tracks here. You can see a little junction there. Little storage. Oh, what does that say right there? Uh, oh, electrical caps. Mm -hmm. So that's where they would have kept those right there. Let's see if you guys can see that. Well, this ground's really soft when you step. Yeah, another three-way junction. This might just be like a little storage area straight ahead. And then to the right, maybe it just, well, maybe this just wrapped around, but no. Gravel in between the ties, it's, you oh, see. Snow? snow? Yeah. So that's coming from outside, probably, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> it's August, and we're into the snow. That's another little, a uh, huge, another chute, some drill steel, and that's uh, a sample box. Another wind door, which would make sense. Ooh. Oh, this is where maybe you threw the rocks, yeah. Bottom of the chute here. Or not the chute, sorry, bottom of the uh or, oh no, it's, oh yeah. So, I think this. It doesn't say which way is exit again, but. Huge room. Surprised we're able to light it up as well. How big it is. But the ground is so soft, eh? Yeah. Which is a little bit freaky. Oh, this is a little bit smaller. An incredible shape still. We've already used, well one flashlight's died. Um, gone through three battery packs. So far keeping everything charged up for as long as we can. Our camera is going to die before we can, like, we're going to have to go down just based on that. Just going to check the oxygen monitor. 19.8, so we're still good. Hasn't changed much. We do know that uh, there's a section of this mine that does have bad air. That's something you definitely want to think about and just keep an eye on. 
basically tore up all the ties here. The Very unnerving walking on this on the ground here. You take one step and you sink up to your ankle. Think you're gonna fall through. So I don't know if we're coming up to another junction. I'd have to say for mine explorers, this is definitely uh, we're deep in the mountain. Caroline, we were in pretty deep too. Um, we explored the whole 13 kilometers of that one, except for the very lower, where uh, the, the lower at it is, but it's completely flooded, and that's where they have the rock crusher. Um, so we've been, we've been waiting for that just to go down a little bit, the water. Okay, that would be cool. Uh, so we can drop our kayaks down into it. That hasn't been explored since it was in operation in the 80s. Um, all the reports just says what is there, but nobody's been down there. Is there light? All right, so we made it through. We're probably on the complete opposite side of the mountain. All right, can turn off our flashlights here. Already, uh... Oh, is this where I would have climbed up? Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, careful, sweetie pie. Holy. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so if we keep going around there, I guess, that's where we would maybe come, like, we've gone up, so we're definitely higher. Um, take a look at that view, guys. Pretty amazing. We're super lucky that we've had some rain because about a week ago, we wouldn't have been able to see all of this because of the forest fire. But uh, we're just gonna stop for a little bit, charge up some batteries. Hopefully we can uh, keep exploring. We still have to climb down now, uh, that raised area. Still have about a four kilometer hike out of here. And uh, I don't know, I, we took so many rights and lefts and it's this is definitely the most complicated mine we've been in so far just to oops, yeah Cheyenne just said there's over 90 kilometers of tunnel here and we could easily just get turned around um, it's good that they've uh, there's newer markings to kind of say where you are but um, not every adit or drift or crosscut has any writing on it at all. Um, so we don't want to be in here for much longer. So uh, we'll touch base with you guys kind of off and on um, as we are making our way out. So uh, we'll see you guys when we get back to that uh, manway. All right, so we're going down to the 4800 level, right there. Just tell me when I get to the part with my day. Yeah. Okay, uh, two more, one more step. Kate, now just bend down. And you have to probably bend down about three steps. This is maybe like 50 to 75 feet up. Oh, yeah, side to side. 
Yeah. All right. We came back to, well, out to the water, and then a little bit further than that. We were having trouble on which way to go. But we then noticed these two chutes. The one that was on the left and the one on the right. And then we're coming up to that door where it says person. Yeah, person. Okay, good. There we go. There's Cheyenne's arrow. And that's the area where it was saying someone was walking around in circles. And then here's another one of my arrows. Another one. So if you ever come into a mine, you definitely need to have a system. our last video and basically where this video started so it's now about a thousand feet to the exit this is a, uh, a drill again always great to see an ore cart and this one still rolls oh she's a little tighter this time this goes right outside here so maybe I'll just take you guys out there too just in case if you haven't seen our video beautiful out here Well, everybody, we've made it uh, to the exit. Uh, we just want to thank all of our subscribers and uh, everybody who comments. It helps uh, our channel out a lot. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. And, and uh, until next time, guys, take care. Have a great week. And we'll see you in the next Explorer.